Hello, everybody. Welcome to Record of Ragnarok, the podcast about the manga and anime Record of Ragnarok. Now, today is a very special episode. I don't have a guest with me today, unfortunately. Uh, I'm working on getting more as, as we speak, but uh, it's, it's quite the process, and hopefully I'll have some good news for you soon. But it is a special episode because this is the first time since I started this podcast that I get to talk about a brand new matchup that has been announced and shown. We officially know round nine, the participants of round nine of a record of Ragnarok, both humanity and the heavens. We have found out the ones participating in round nine, spoiler alert, don't say I didn't warn you, Leonidas versus Apollo. Just... <laughs> I, 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 who saw this coming? This came out of left field for, I'd say about 95% of the community. Of course, everybody has considered every possible matchup. So the idea of Leonidas versus Apollo, it has definitely been thrown around, but everyone sort of seemed agreed for the most part that, okay, it's going to be Simo versus Apollo and Leonidas versus Odin. And it, we were all wrong. Simo, I now think is, I hope he doesn't go up against Anubis because Anubis is my most hyped god and Simo is my most hyped human. So I would hate to have to pick one over the other. Though at the uh, gun to my head, I would pick Simo to win. I, but at, it's sort of like we, we now this sort of came out of left field. We don't know what to expect anymore. We don't know, a pa like we think we know the pattern. We think we know what direction the author is going to go in and they and we just don't. And I think that makes me very excited for this matchup. I won't be going into the details of the chapter since the chapter has not been uh, translated and, or at least not fully translated. And we still don't have the official Ross. We have screenshots from the manga from our friends over in Japan. And man, this just changes everything. I'm not against this matchup by any means. I think it's very, very fun. I think it's an interesting choice. And for once, we know for a fact the Greeks are gonna win. Somehow, the Greeks are gonna take a W. Whether it's a Greek human or a Greek god remains to be seen, but you know, we'll, we'll take it. You know, <laughs> I'm happy to see the Greeks pull through. Now, who do I want to win? Pretty simple, Apollo. Le Leonidas is very, very cool. His design choice, I think it'll grow on me. When I first saw it, I was a bit, I was like, okay, I'm not sure what they're going with. Apollo looks beautiful. Apollo is amazing. I think they did a flawless job with Apollo. And the community seems very divided. I've seen people talk about how much they hate the G.I. Joe kind of uh, Leonidas, and I've seen people talk about how much they love it and how much they think it looks cool and how it's different and how it's not something people would initially expect. And it makes sense given this they have been training ever since they died. And of course, Leonidas would want the most advanced military gear. So it would make sense for him, you know, to change out of his brass armor into something a bit more modern and I guess more practical if he has access to it. But yeah, I I've seen divisive opinions on it. And I think for the most part, I've seen mostly positive. I'd say maybe 70% positive, 30% negative. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't very excited for Leonidas. I mean, he's definitely a cool historical character, and he's definitely a cool character for Ragnarok, but like, out of all the characters, I'm like, oh man, I can't wait to see them fight, or who I want to win. I have th I, I have three winners. I have three people I want to win. Simo, Nostradamus, and Okita. Those are the three that I want to win their matches. Will I get what I want? Probably not. Uh, but you know, I'm keeping my fingers, I'm keeping my fingers and toes crossed and I'm, you know, and I'm, and I'm hoping that that's what I get, but you know, you never do know. I think that was a very loud bird. I don't know if you heard that, but, um, 
Yeah, I really don't know what to expect. I actually, I'm pretty sure. I think the gods are gonna take this. I think the gods are gonna go two in a row. I they just tied up. They just tied back up with the humans. I don't see the humans taking a lead again. And either way, Lee and I is gonna put up an amazing fight. And when it comes to just pure raw strength and power, from what we've seen, Leonidas has that in spades. And Apollo sort of, he's, he's, he's sort of just, he sort of has a Hermes vibe. He, he's very relaxed. He's very calm. And you know what they say, it's the quiet ones you gotta be scared of. And I think that's what's going on with Apollo, and I think Apollo is going to be an absolute powerhouse if he can stand up against Leonidas. Uh, I love that Leonidas has his shield with him. That was something I sort of predicted that he would have sort of a Captain America like fighting style, and well, he hasn't thrown his shield as of yet from what I've seen, but it's it's just very. Sorry, my phone went off. I should have muted that. It's just very exciting to see what's going on with this manga and how any matchup is now possible and I, now i worry i honestly worry anubis would be going up against simo but that's not what we got to worry about right now i just want to know whatever who who do you guys want to win i know i'm team apollo all the way uh but yeah i'm i'm, I'm team apollo leonidas is super cool but i think if i had to pick if i had to pick one i'm going apollo I think Apollo is a super cool character. I think even before Apollo versus Leonidas was announced, I, I sort of said to myself that I would root for Apollo if he wasn't going up against Simo. Because I really do like Apollo. I think Apollo is a really interesting god. I really love his design and his the historical aspect, the like his historical mythology, I think is really interesting. But in the end, uh, yeah, I, I gotta go Apollo. But in other Record of Ragnarok news, July 12th is the official release date for Record of Ragnarok Season 2, Part 2, Buddha versus Spoiler. Well, if you're listening to this podcast, you read the manga against Zero Fuku and then Hajin. They announced the Japanese voice actors. I personally, although I do watch subbed anime, I, per, I prefer the dub of Record of Ragnarok. I just like a lot of dubs. I like talking to the voice actors at conventions, so I watched the dub of Record of Ragnarok, and it is incredible. And I'm just so excited to see <laughs> to see who plays who. And the, the, we're getting Hades, and we're getting Beelzebub. We're getting the next two god fighters from the manga. We're getting official voice actors for them. Now, is a season three happening? I think. I think. Season 3 is possible, but I'm not putting money on it. Definitely not a Season 4, at least not anytime soon, because, well, for one season they need three fights, and we just started the ninth. And Season 2 is going to wrap up around 6, so we have 7 and 8 for them to work with, so they can definitely, and I hope they do this, I hope they show off, they show off the introduction of Chin and Hades. I hope they do that for the very last episode because we know it's going to be five episodes. I hope they do that because I would love to see Nostradamus and I would love to see the introduction, the really cool introduction of Quinn uh, rather than sort of cutting to the arena at the end of season one like they did with Jack the Ripper versus Hercules. Um, that's sort of my hope because once season two was confirmed, they really had to sort of not change too much. They, they definitely kept certain scenes from the manga and they definitely kept, you know, cert, uh, certain story beats. But they did switch some things around from the manga for the anime for Jack the River versus Hercules. And I, I don't want that to happen again. I would love an entire episode dedicated to Shin entering the ring and Hades declaring that he would fight and that whole interaction between Hermes, between Hermes and Ares and Quinn uh, with the drink that everyone used to think was poison. I think that would just be really entertaining to watch. 
I don't think it's happening though. I mean, if, if budget is an issue, which I believe it was an issue for season one, if budget is a certain issue, they are definitely not going to put forth the money to hire two extra voice actors because we're already getting Hades and we're always already getting Beelzebub. That is confirmed. But they would need to hire a voice actor for Nostradamus. They would need to hire a voice actor for Quinn. They would need to pay the other voice actors extra money to record the new lines that would be required. And they would also, oh, they would also need voice actors for uh, the, the Chinese emperors in the crowd that help Quinn to the arena. Yeah, they're... The more I think about it, the more I think about it, the less likely I think we're going to get the introduction that I would like for Quinn versus Hades. But I think we are still going to see it animated to an extent. Quinn might be completely silent, probably similar to, like, again, Jack the Ripper versus Hercules at the end of season one. But it is what it is. I'm just so excited that this got a season two, and I'm so excited that it got the budget and time that it needs to really shine. Record of Ragnarok, I think it's starting to pop off. It really is. You, you're seeing nerdcore songs about it. Uh, you're seeing... I, I saw him talked about a bit on TikTok. Like, or I saw Adam at least talked about a little bit on TikTok. It's somewhat, It's starting to sort of blow up. And it's starting to sort of get the traction that I think it absolutely deserves. And that has me very excited for the anime's future. I hope... We can get a season three. I don't think we will. If 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 we do, you know, they're gonna have to wait at least until round nine is over, and round ten is announced, right? They'll have to. But that's just my speculation. That's just my theory. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.